First of all, I want to thank my colleague from Pennsylvania, Mr. Keller, for uh, bringing up this Congressional Review Act. We need to do more of this. Um, I just want to make it clear for the record that I received the vaccination. I had a conversation with my doctor. It was my decision. But we're here today to assert the same rights and liberties that I exercised in making a personal decision that are now being taken away or attempted to be taken away by the Biden administration. A president whose approval rating hit a new low this morning of 36 percent. The federal government has been using the public health crisis to gain more and more control over our lives. I know the pandemic is dangerous. I know any health care emergency is dangerous, but I want to tell you something that I hope the American people understand. What's taking place right now in America is even more dangerous. Giving up your freedom, giving up your ability to work, to raise your families according to the dictates of your conscience and your faith are not to be forfeited because someone has decided that every person will knuckle under to whatever the federal government says. And again, a president who has a 36% approval rating. Their overreach over the past 20 months is totally unacceptable. And this vaccine mandate for healthcare workers indicates that they do not intend to stop. Can you imagine having a loved one, a grandparent, a mom or dad having a stroke or heart attack and you need to get them to the hospital, but they don't have the personnel because those people have been denied the ability to work in the emergency room, to operate an ambulance. You talk about other people losing their lives that has nothing to do with being infected with the COVID virus. It's because government has infected the entire system with overreach. It's unconscionable that an agency of unelected bureaucrats would force our frontline workers to choose between their jobs and either a vaccine or a burdensome and complicated test and testing regimen. And I want to emphasize unelected bureaucrats. That's the swamp, folks. That's the people who try to run this place. They're trying to do this all outside your elected representatives. What's at stake, I want to emphasize again, is our form of government, representative government, where those of us who stand behind this podium are responsible to the people at home, not these nameless, faceless bureaucrats who are making these decisions. This undermines our efforts to get our economy back on track, to get the supply chain operating again the way it should be. It undermines the ability to get people back to work. We're running, driving people out of the workforce, and they're threatening the fi fines of $13,000 per violation. Maybe, maybe this is their plan all along, was to find enough people that they can make up part of this massive deficit that they've created will build back better. I want to remind you that these are the same people who stood by last year when Democrat governors condemned thousands of elderly people to be placed into COVID-infected nursing homes to die. Where's the accountability for that? We have an opportunity as Congress to counter this kind of abuse of agency authority with this Congressional Review Act. We're here now to say that we're not going to stand by and do nothing. The American people are letting their views be known again because if you look at the approval rating of this administration, it's clear the American people don't agree with what's being done. My colleagues, Republican colleagues and I, are going to stand up for the American people. We're going to fight alongside them against this and any other unconstitutional actions from the Biden administration. It's unfortunate that the Biden administration need reminding our fundamental rights do not take a back seat during a crisis. We have always prided ourselves as American people to rise to the occasion together. That's not what's happening now. And we will do everything that we can to protect our rights, to allow the American people to live the life that they want to live, make their own decisions, and we'll stand with them.